On your standard reports and additional reports pages, you'll find reports and dashboards that are ready for you to run out or to customize to meet your exact requirements. If you prefer to do things yourself, we've given you two ways to create your own reports from scratch. You'll find them on the Options menu, Create Report and Quick Create Report. In this video, we'll set up a new report using Create Report which gives you complete control over the columns and rows in the report. I'm going to walk you through creating a report from start to finish so that you understand the big picture. After you click Create Report, enter the report details. I'm going to call this one Current versus Prior Month Profit and Loss Statement. Take some time now to write a brief, informative description to help you remember exactly what the report's about. When you're done, select the folder in which you want to save the report and click Create. The report opens in the Design screen, with a preview of the report layout on the left. It's a blank canvas now, but we'll soon change that. Notice the placeholders from the main components of the report a logo, a title, columns, and rows. When you click a component, its editing options appear in the design pane on the right. For example, to add a logo, click Company Logo. Then in the design pane, click Choose Logo. Browse to and select the logo, and there you go. You can update the report title just as easily by clicking the title in the design screen. Although the report name is automatically used as the title when you create a report, changing the title here will not change the report name. In the title field in the design pane, you can update the title text or add variables. Now for the fun bit, adding columns and rows. Click the edit icon above the columns area to see the columns option in the design pane. You can add columns individually or add column sets. You can also add spacers, which are blank columns to neaten your report. Let's use Add a Column to add one new column to the report. In the Column Properties in the Design pane, you can see that this column is an Amount column that will retrieve the actual values for Period 1. For the year, we'll specify in our report filters. These are the default column properties for all columns you add using Add a Column. I'm happy with this, except that because this is a current versus prior period report, I'd like the column to reference the current period. I could click on the number of the current period, but then I'd have to update the report every period. Instead, to ensure that the report always references the current period, I'll click Current Period and then Save. Notice that the column heading, which uses variables, updates automatically to show the new period. When you run out the report, this variable will be replaced with the number or name of the current period, depending on your settings. I'll add another column for the prior month's values in the same way. After clicking Add a Column, I'd like the column to always reference the prior period. So I'll click Prior Period, then Save. You cannot save the report itself until you've added at least one column and one row. So let's add some rows by clicking the Edit icon above the Rows area. The Rows options in the Design pane are very similar to the Columns options. For this report, we'll click Quick Add Rows to add a predefined set of rows for Profit and Loss Statements. From the list of row sets, click Profit and Loss. Isn't that fantastic? All those rows added to the report with two clicks. With that, we're done creating our report from scratch. There are two more things we need to do before we can run it out and admire our handiwork. First, we need to click Report Filters on the right side of the design screen to set up the report filters. These are identical to the filters you set when you run a report from the Standard Reports, Additional Reports, or My Reports page, and enable you to run out your report directly from the design screen. 
Next, we need to click Save to save our changes. Finally, we can click Run. There you have it. The report includes the logo we added, as well as the current and prior period values for all those profit and loss rows.